Adam Murray Post Vox here, back with another app spotlight. I've received a question a few number of times for a program, or a suggestion for a program rather, that will allow you to split up files without needing to open up a video editor. Like if you just record a replay buffer from OBS or something from Shadowplay and you just want to trim off the good bits and not have to re-render the video and lose quality or anything like that, what are your options? Well, there's one program I'm gonna spotlight here today. It's called AVI Demux, and it's been around pretty much since the Windows XP days. It is free, it is open source, and it was originally designed to work with AVI from mini DV cameras or DVD files, but it will work with your standard MKBs and MP4s and things like that from Shadowplay and OBS and things like that. So go ahead, download the installer, run it, and then go ahead and launch the program. Now, I will have a full video coming soon involving archiving uh, old mini DV tapes and things like that, and I walk through a lot more of the other functionality in the software, but I'm going I'm to walk you through two features in this particular program. The first is trimming a file, and the second is actually combining files so that you don't have to, again, re-edit them just to upload a couple sample clips. So I'm going to go through here. I have some Battalion 1944 coverage, or footage rather, from my gaming PC, and I've got to, I'm gonna try to find some short clips here. Here's a 25 second clip. I'm gonna drag that into the software. Alternatively, you can go to file open and open the file and it will open up a preview here. Now, if you just want to trim the file, make sure you're on the MKV muxer, unless you're using something like a WebM or an AVI, there's different options, but by default, it's the MKV muxer and that will work with all files, but it's especially important for the MP4, but you can change it to an MP4 muxer and have it output an MP4 file directly, which is useful for Twitter. Of course, choose your appropriate aspect ratio if it's in this list. They do have four by three, 16 by nine, two to one, or whatever the hell that is. Once again, yard work starts up as soon as I start recording a tutorial, even though they had been stopped for at least an hour before I got started. All right, so first here, we are just going to trim a clip. So it starts out here. We can run, we can kind of scrub through a preview. You're not going to get a full frame rate preview, but we can go frame by frame and see what happens. We kill someone there. And that ends the round. So that wasn't a very exciting clip, to be honest, but that's fine. Uh, if we wanted to trim it up, let's say we just want the bit of me killing someone and then like a little bit of headroom, then we go to right here. And here you have the input and output handles. So you have A and B, start marker and end marker. So I'm gonna set this as the end marker and I'm actually gonna bring it out a little bit because keep in mind, if you've ever looked into OBS tutorials and heard of keyframes, these are what keyframes are for. There are basically points that the file can be split or altered or something like that. And so it jumped to a keyframe instead of exactly where I put it. So I'm going to kind of put it back a little bit and try to grab a further along keyframe. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and start it a little earlier. So I'm going to start it right here. I'm going to hit the start marker. There's not a keyframe there close enough to the beginning. I'm going to hit there. There we go. So now we have a much shorter clip than the original clip. Everything is set to copy by default, which means it's not going to re-encode anything, re-compress anything, or anything like that. Although there is a lot of complex tools in this software that I will look into in future videos. And I do wish I could add, since it is open source, a Remux option to the menu at some point. But that's besides the point. Once you have your trim done, you go ahead and hit save. And tell it where you want to save the file. Split clip 1. And again, we are MP4 since we're using the MP4 muxer or MKV works as well. Hit save. Since this was short, it will play back. So we're gonna take a look at where this one starts and stops. You can see it starts all the way at the beginning. We shoot the guy and then it keeps going all the way till the end. So let's find the clip that we just rendered out. Split clip one, you can see it's only 11 seconds. We shoot that guy, and then the clip is pretty much over. That left me a little bit of headroom for transitions. You're good to go. Great, simple, easy, that's all. Now, if that's all you're here for, by all means, please use this program. It's very powerful, very useful. Saves you a lot of time for uploading game clips to YouTube or Twitter or Instagram or what Discord, what have you. Now, if you wish to combine files, I'm actually going to relaunch the software here. If you wish to combine files, that's called appending. So I'm going to delete this clip. We are going to combine this clip with the video clip that came before it because that was a continuation of it. So I'm going to drag in the first clip. 
Now this will clear, do not set your start and endpoints yet because this will clear them out once when you append a file. So don't do anything yet. Go to, you can either go to file, append, and find the file you wish to append, or just drag the second clip in there. It will append it to the end, and it added it to the end. You can see where it ends that. So now I can set my start and endpoints, and I'm gonna go through here and find, make sure there's, see where I actually want this to start. You can see I was messing around with recording settings, so there's a lot of dead air there. I do get a kill there. So I'm gonna set the start point here for the moment, just in case I die again. Yep, I died, so I don't wanna start there. Usually I just wanna record like, a couple specific sprees. That didn't end well. All right, we got a kill there. So I'm gonna set a new start point here, and we'll just keep, oh, nope, I died again. I don't know where I wanted this club to start, to be honest. Okay, here we go, I grabbed the flag. So I'm gonna start it here. I believe that's the end of the we run through. We don't get any crazy kills, but we're carrying the flag. There we go, we got two kills, and then it immediately goes into that second clip that we recorded. No hiccups since they were recorded back to back, you know, no crazy dropped frames or anything. And then I capture the flag, and the round ends. And then I will set it to end pretty much right at the end here. Cool, so now we have combined two clips and trimmed off part of the first clip. Again, I'll change it to MP4 Muxer since that's what I really want. There is an MP4 V2 Muxer, I honestly... Don't know the difference, it has less options, so I'm gonna say it's probably not the one you should go with. And then I'll hit save, and I'll say, flag cap couple kills, and it's a .mp4, it's gonna save it out, you're good to go, we can close the program, come back to our render folder, flag cap couple kills. One minute, 21 seconds from a five minute and a 25 second clip. And I will show you the jump here. Yeah, so here's the couple kills we did get. And then this it's going to seamlessly transition to the next clip. Now the thing is, with this append... Yep, here's the second clip. Didn't even notice a difference since their shadow play recorded back to back. The only issue here that you may run into if you're trying to do crazy stuff is you can't append files of two different sizes or resolutions. I actually made a whole video about this functionality. I'll have it linked in the video description. It's called con concatenate. But if you want to combine two clips that are of different frame rates and resolutions, it will not let you. So we're going to drag in this clip we just made. And again, you saw how fast it exported. It's not doing any re-encoding or anything like that. It's literally just copying the frames and the audio from one clip to another. We're going to combine it. That's a 1440p 60 clip. We're going to combine it with this 4K 60 clip. And it's going to tell us no. Not an option. So just a note there. Otherwise... Fairly simple walkthrough, fairly simple program. Got a lot of requests to show it off. It was something I was looking forward to discover myself for quite some time. So here you go. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education. I'm Evil Fox here to make tech easier and more fun. Consider contributing on Patreon at patreon.com slash Fox. Checking us out on Discord, discord.com slash And I will see you in the next one.